to My Natural Hair Delights, where you can enjoy rocking your natural hair with all natural ingredients. My name is Brittany Shine, and today I am introducing to you natural hairstyle number 18, okay? I have been doing the 24 natural hairstyle series, and I took a pause on it simply because I've been going through some transitions in my life, and if you have watched my recent video, I've talked about how I have um, overcome postpartum hair loss. Um, I am now a mother of three children, and it's a blessing, it's a true blessing. And so, um, I have not had the chance to um, just jump into the natural hairstyle series, but I'm back and I'm planning to complete the 24 natural hairstyle series, okay? So if you have not checked out the series yet, go ahead and check that playlist out. I have natural hairstyle number one all the way up to natural hairstyle number 18 today, okay? So this hairstyle is something that I've never worn before. Um, I usually rock my bun with the kinky curls on the side. Um, I think that was natural hairstyle number two. And so um, this is a little different. I have my bun here and then I have a part in the middle and I did the twist out on each side. I just did like a small strand on each side made sure it was even and just twisted it and let it all out <laughs> and so um i didn't leave the twists overnight like usually i'll leave my twist in overnight and then i'll take it down the next morning but um i had to go to bible study tonight so i just twisted it and just left it in for like an hour and then i took it down and it still came out really, really great. So um, what I have applied to my hair was simply water, my Rosemary Delight Hair Growth Butter, hey! And I've also applied my flaxseed gel, okay? So those were the three things that I have used on my hair to give it this beautiful hairstyle. <laughs> And so the flaxseed gel is what defines my twist out. Now, I actually don't have to use flaxseed gel to define the twist out, but most of the times, um, if I'm doing like a hairstyle that I want to last longer, then I would use my flaxseed gel to get rid of the frizz and um, to define my twist outs even more. Now this came out a little fluffier because I only left my twist in for an hour and then I took it down. But normally it'll be like a crispy looking twist out, um, like as you see in this hairstyle here. And so, um, yes, yeah, so I've just been rocking my natural hair. I love my hair and I want you to love your hair. And that's why I'm here today to show you natural hairstyle number 18, something that you can rock on your own natural hair. Now, these bangs is really, really long. Like my hair has grown um, because of the natural ingredients that I applied to my hair that I want to introduce to you all. So if you have not yet checked out my website at mynaturalhairdelight.com, get to know the ingredients that I place in the hair products, which is the hair growth butter and the hair growth oil, okay? It will strengthen your hair strands, make your hair thicker, longer, and stronger, okay? And if you're using the hair growth butter, you can apply it to your scalp and you can use it as a hair moisturizer. And you can also use it on your skin. So it's actually a three in one <laughs> natural hair and skincare product, okay? So you definitely wanna check that out. Um, with the hair growth oil, if you're wearing like a hairstyle where, like for instance, like I'm wearing this hairstyle um, and I'm not able to just part through each section of my hair, and that's when the hair growth oil comes in and I can just squeeze the oil on my scalp and um, just kind of rub it in. Now with this particular hairstyle, I'm probably not gonna do anything 
to my hair for a couple of days. Um, but after I take this down, I'm gonna apply some more hair growth oil to my scalp, okay? But you definitely want to check those ingredients out because it will make your hair longer. If you've seen like my videos in the past, you'll see how my hair has grown tremendously just from using the ingredients that I'm mentioning to you all today. I apply it to my scalp and I apply it to my hair strands. There was a, a reel that I watched recently about um, this oil that a lady has tried on her hair and it was supposed to be castor oil. I, I believe it was supposed to be castor oil, but the oil had all kinds of other unnatural ingredients in the oil. And so it wasn't what it said it was. It wasn't what it was portrayed to be. And so you always want to check the back of your ingredients because if you, if you look at the back of your ingredients, it will tell you exactly what is in the hair product. And if your hair is affected in any kind of way that it's not supposed to be, like if your hair is dry or if your scalp is dry after you just moisturized it or after you just wash your hair and you feel like, man, why is my hair still dry? Why is my hair still um, itching? Like why, why, why am I still itching after I just moisturized or just washed my hair? You always want to check the back of the ingredients because some of the ingredients are not beneficial to your hair nor your skin. And so it is important that you check the ingredients. Make sure that you can pronounce the name of the ingredients. If you're if if you see a name of an ingredient that looks foreign to you, always look it up. Always check to make sure that it is good for your hair. Okay? If it's a just a long foreign name with numbers next to it, or if it has like abbreviations with numbers next to it, it's probably not a natural ingredient. So you wanna make sure that it is all natural, okay? Natural, natural things that God has made, okay? Uh, aloe vera, uh, rosemary, cloves, moringa, fenugreek, um, coconut oil, uh, coconut milk, if you want to like deep condition your hair with coconut milk and avocados, um, aloe vera, like these are the things we're supposed to apply to our hair. Black sea gel, okay? These are some, like some of the ingredients that I'm mentioning, I have not heard of before, but now I'm mentioning it to you all. So if you have not heard of flax seed gel before, or if you have not heard of uh, Moringa or fenugreek, like look these ingredients up. Look look at what it does to your hair. What, what, what benefits does it bring to you, okay? What, like how can it benefit your hair and your skin? That's what you want to look up, okay? And if you're allergic to any of these ingredients, then stay away from it. I know some people said they were allergic to sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is a very natural, a very good natural oil, but some people are allergic to it. Some people are allergic to coconut oil. Coconut oil is something my hair loves, and I love coconut oil, and I'm, I thank God I'm not allergic to it. But some people are allergic to coconut oil, so you just want to make sure that um, that whatever ingredients that you're using, that it's going to benefit your hair and your skin. And if you notice an allergic reaction to it, then you want to stay away from it. So just because it's natural doesn't mean that it will be good for you if you are allergic to those particular ingredients, okay? So always check, always check, 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 check the back of your ingredients. I'm telling you, it's gonna make a big difference in how your hair looks and how your hair grows. Know what you're applying to your hair, okay? Because there are a lot of unhealthy ingredients out there that are damaging our hair and our skin. And I have talked about the top five things that destroys 
natural hair, okay? And the top number one is something that I really want you all to pay attention to. If you go back to my video, top five things that destroys natural hair, okay? This is very, very important because a lot of women still do this today. And some girls, some little girls are using this on their hair as well when they're not supposed to because it can ruin your hair texture and it can make your hair shorter and thinner, okay? So go check that video out, but thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video today. If you have found this video helpful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell <laughs> at My Natural Hair Delight. And I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, so you can check me out there. But if you want to have full tutorials of how to take care of your natural hair, then you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel at My Natural Hair Delight. I also have some um, new labels that are coming in soon. So check out my website at MyNaturalHairDelight.com. I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day. I will talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.